Hey everyone, my name is Kaushik and welcome back to Let Code. In this video, we are going to see how to communicate with the existing browser, that is, which is already opened by the Selenium web driver. We know that whenever we are going to write Chrome driver equal to new Chrome driver, that is going to launch a new driver instance or I can say a new browser, right? But there is a way through which we can communicate with the browser opened by the Selenium. So let's get into the code. So first thing first, I'm going to launch my Chrome driver. So for that, obviously, I have to call the class. So Chrome driver driver equal to new Chrome driver basic stuff right and then i'm just going to navigate to my website so driver.get and i have to pass my url so that is let code dot in slash edit let's say that i want to type in this text box right so i'm just going to right click and add to ruto so here i'm going to copy the snippets and paste over here and here i'm going to pass my name so Okay, so obviously we know that if I run this, so before that, let me import the by. Yes, absolutely fine. Now we know that when I going to run this, obviously it is going to launch my driver and then it is going to type in that value, right? But instead of that, to communicate with the existing browser, we have to get the debugger address. So let's see how to get the debugger address. For that, I'm going to use the driver object. So driver dot get capabilities is the method. Now we know that capabilities, I mean the get capabilities method is going to return as a capability. Okay, so this is going to return me a new capabilities. Now capabilities is like um, it's going to give us key and the value, right? So I'm going to just print the key and value and later on we will see how to use that to communicate with the existing browser. So I'm just going to print that. So for that capabilities dot for each. So I'm just going to look through each and every value. But before that, I have to convert this into a map object, right? Because we know that capability is going to give us in the format of key and value. So I'm going to use the as map. And here I'm going to store this in a local variable. And then I'm just going to print this object. So as map dot for each. And here we know that it is going to return as key and a value. So I'm just using the lambda functions. And here I'm going to say so. So the key. And then I can give a space. Then just I'm just doing some concatenation here. Right? That's fine. So I'm going to run this. Now let's see what happened. So I'm just going to click on run. So it launched the browser and also if you see it has typed my name there, right? Now if I go to my console, here we can see that here it is giving us some key and the correspondent value, right? So the browser name is uh, the key and the value is the Chrome. Similarly, we are getting some information like platform, which is Windows and some other things, right? But here the interesting, what we are interested on is the debugger address. So now based on this debugger address, we can communicate with our browser. So I'm just going to copy this and let me close this. And here, let me paste it somewhere here so I can use that in later on stages. And here. I'm just going to use the same method or you can create new method and then you can use absolutely fine. Nothing wrong about it. that. Only thing is whatever we are going to use the Chrome options, we have to pass to a driver. So here I'm going to say Chrome options and I'm go just going to create a new object for that. And here in the options, we have a method called set experimental options. Okay, so I'm going to use that. And here it needs a name and a value that's like key and value. Okay, so the key is going to be your debugger address. So let me copy and pl place it here. And similarly, we have to use our 
localhost that is the address of that current browser okay now that's it that's absolutely fine and here we have to pass our chrome options object into the chrome driver constructor okay so whenever the chrome driver is going to load so this option is also going to set by default right so that is what constructor is used for right constructor is like an entry point to each and every classes right fine now let's see how it's going to communicate with the browser okay so i'm going to just drag it here and my id here so that you can see when i'm going to type so before that let us try to write something or else you might get confused so i'm just going to let's say clear this value or this value right so i'm going to clear this value so let me add this to my browser and or else we can get the value from here okay so i'm just going to get the value so let me comment this right so let me comment this both the lines so we no need this so because we already reached uh, to our this page right so edit page now here i'm just going to bring this and here i'm going to assess out the attribute and then let us say we want to clear this as well so i'm just going to copy and here i'm going to say type maybe just copy and here instead of send case i'm just going to call the clear method okay now let me minimize this so that you can watch okay so let me not this one okay let me close okay so this is chrome is being controlled by the automated test software right so that means this is the first one we launched right now i'm going to run in the same browser so just let me click on this run here Okay, so it cleared the value as well as we got the output as well, right? So if you noticed clearly, we can see that it is going, it has happened, right? Now, probably you can try yourself and you can make sure it's working fine, right? Or else don't assume that I'm doing something here, okay? So let me explain what happening behind the scenes. So first we have launched our browser using Chrome options, I mean the Chrome driver, and we get the URL and then we did some type over there using the same keys right so we have used this driver dot capabilities which is going to return me the capabilities interface now based on that object or i can say the reference i am using as map method to convert the to get the values as a key and a value pair so based on that we are just doing the sysout which i noted here right now here when we are going to run for the second time we are using this chrome options where we are set using this method set experimental option where we have to pass this debugger address and this local host okay so whenever we are going to launch our browser it is going to give us a local host with some port number so port numbers might get changed each, each and every time so that is not going to be static okay now one thing you have to remember here is that do not use close or quit because it is going to wind up the session end of the session right so if the session is gone obviously we cannot communicate with the browser so if the session is still there then obviously we can uh, use that to debug our code i mean to communicate with the existing browser now what is the use of this if you ask me i can say it is going to be very helpful for you when you are going to run your code or i can say when you are going to debug your code for example if you have 50 lines of code and if it's getting failed in between of 40 or 30 then obviously you have to run your test from the very first line right but instead of that just create another method and continue from where you have left so this is going to be very handy for you when you are going to do the debugging i hope this makes sense to you right now let us see what is this local host as well so i'm just going to copy this and i'm going to open my new browser and here i'm going to paste this now if you see here it says that um let me maximize so here you can see chrome automation extension which is coming from this uh, browser which is this um, extension right so whenever we are going to launch a browser with uh, selenium we will get this extension by default and also it says that we have this um, page here right so input let code which is the url of that page okay so using this only we are communicating with the existing browser so i hope you have enjoyed the video and this is going to be very easy just you have to get the 
uh, debugger address using the Chrome, I mean the driver.get capabilities and you have to set it using the Chrome options and pass the variable or the object to the constructor. That's it. Pretty cool, right? Thanks for watching. If you like my video, please consider subscribing to the channel and give a like. Uh, see you in the next one very soon.